I'm multi-addicted. I certainly 100% have that obsessive compulsive disorder where I obsess and become compulsive of a lot of things that make me feel good. I was one of those that was addicted to pornography, sex, drugs, alcohol, anything that made me feel good. Anything that gave me a sense of being important. I was a relationship addicted. I love being in relationships. I could not be alone for five minutes because I valued who I was as a human being by having someone value me. And if someone wasn't with me, I didn't want to be with me. If I, if I had an acquaintance or some person in my group that didn't like me, I put every effort in to make them like me. I would kiss their ass and wonder, why don't you like me? Like, what is that? Because if I'm not liked, I'm certainly not valuable because I felt that way on the inside. So I needed the value on the outside. And I got that seemingly through sex and relationships, valued and loved and nurtured. And somehow my brain wired together that sex, sex made me feel loved and nurtured. And when I drank, it made that more intense. And the drugs made that even more intense. So I didn't truly, truly, truly know I was an alcoholic and addict. Now I knew I had a problem. That's why I came in the rooms in 2002. Because I knew I had a problem. Not an alcoholic, not like you guys. But I, yes, I have a problem. I mean, I read all the self-help books and all the psychology books and researching how to control the brain and did for years. It was a hobby of mine. I actually liked it. I took in a lot of knowledge, but it didn't mean anything. I had absolutely no application of any of that knowledge. When I realized I was truly an addict and alcoholic, it took me to calling my sponsor one day when I had a pipe in my hand and I so wanted to stop smoking. And I, 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 he told me to smash the pipe on the ground with a brick and then go to a meeting. 